to the garden. Today I'm going to show you how to divide daylilies. These are just starting to wrap up their flowering and starting to produce seed pods. So I want to kind of split it up down the center. I'm using my shovel with a nice flat end on it. That way we can slice through the plant. Most lilies grow from bulbs deep underground, but these are a little bit different. The bulbs are a bit smaller and they only grow on the first three or four inches of soil. Probably thickest right at the surface of the soil. I'm gonna put a little bit of your weight behind it and one more right back here. And that should loosen up the front half of the plant. Now we can come in on the front side and I'm only going out a couple inches from the base of the plants. They'll actually regrow just fine, even if you cut a lot of those roots. These are such a tough plant that they're gonna be just fine. There we go. Look at that. So all this space is gonna get new sun. I'm gonna have to backfill in with some soil because look at all that soil we've taken away. Even the portion that we split in half with the shovel doesn't have that much damage. You can see a little bit of damage here and maybe over here, but that'll callus over and you'll start to get these thick bulb-like roots like this. So that's a classic daylily bulb. It's not like an onion bulb, it's more like a little potato. If you know where you want these, it's good to have your hole already dug. I actually don't know where I'm going to put them yet, so I'll keep these in the shade and just cover the roots so that they don't dry out, and they should be good for at least a day or two. I'm just going to do this front row. I've still got to do these plants here, but I want to transplant the echinacea first. Those are right up in the front row. They're actually really active. There are all sorts of bees and flies on here, even butterflies. It's been really busy today. We're not really short on echinacea. They're actually all over the garden. But for some reason, these ones in the front are incredibly busy. Ooh, there's a butterfly back there. Oh, and we did get our first milkweed. Right over here, this is swamp milkweed. And I grew that from seed, which is really exciting. So this is about the spacing that I want. They're set back about two, maybe even three feet from the edge of the road. So I've still gotta do this one here. I've still gotta do these two. And this is probably the worst offender here. It's actually overhanging into the street. So I wanna cut this one back about three quarters of the way, just leaving basically a little sliver of the plant here at the back. And this will fill back in over time. And it'll probably actually start to overhang on the street again. And this, look at all this growth. It is just so thick. So that's blocking out all my other wildflowers. But it was really nice last year to have a new mix of annuals and brand new flowers that I've never seen before. So let's get rid of these. Wow, this one really is massive. So I cleaved off a little bit here and this could actually be transplanted all by itself. That's gonna be an entire plant someday. It's already got one little sprout, but that'll just fill in and we'll get new shoots. So let's just isolate this little guy and take a look at just how small you can get away with. So there you can see the kind of bulb-like roots here. They're much like potatoes the way they grow on the root. But the true roots actually come out at the base of the bulb and are these little guys down here. But the main plant can actually be split again. I'm gonna just chop right down the middle and divide it cleanly. 
This may seem harsh, but it's actually a lot safer for the plant than trying to pull it apart. The roots are just too thick and too intertwined. But now we've got two really good sized transplants. Lily's like full sun. So it's no surprise that this plant at the edge of the garden where we get the most light is one of the biggest. So I'm gonna split this one pretty aggressively as well. But I'm gonna come in right here at the base of the plant to minimize the soil that I have to remove. So we might slice a few roots, but that's fine. Wow, it's a beast. Whoa. And you can plant these out whole and they'll really fill in quickly. Or you can split them up into smaller pieces and kind of spread them out. I think I'm gonna use a cross between both of those techniques, keeping some plants whole and dividing others up into much smaller pieces to spread out over a large area. I think this will be a decent spot. It doesn't get great sun, but we've got so many, I really don't know where to put them all. So I can use this soil to patch in those holes out in the flower garden. We'll just pop in our little day lily here at the same depth Trying to get that soil level to match up with where it was. And we'll just backfill in around with a little extra soil. Now I'm just going to mulch around it a bit. Make it look natural, retain some moisture, and then we'll water it in really well. Even though we just got rain yesterday, this fresh transplant really needs water. So if you've got daylilies in your garden, this is a great way to get more flowers and more space for different varieties. I hope you give this a grow in your garden. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time.